Hi folks, welcome to another Monday Mark's Market Update. Uh, today I'm going to talk about bridging the gap. So we're going to talk about negotiation and how an agent's job is to be that in between that buyer and the seller and some of the challenges and how we're going to try to get that resolution and a result in today's market. I uh, just wrapped up the week that's been with auctions, 103 properties went to auction over the course of the week and the clearance rate quite a healthy 67%. So there has been a number of negotiations that either happening on or prior to auction day. So regardless of whether you're selling an auction or another method for sale, that agent's job is to be this in between into two main parties. One, a seller that wants to get as much money as possible. A seller that has looked back on a market, say six months or so ago, and seen some very high prices. And of course, would love to see those dollars, which is probably not all that realistic at the moment. And then a buyer, who on the other side of the equation is trying to say the market's crashing and there's bargain prices everywhere and I've got all these options and lots of different things they can buy and so they want to try and buy as cheap as possible. And I think the agent's job at the moment, especially in this market, is to be the stabiliser. To really convince the buyer that the market isn't actually crashing, that the stock levels are actually quite balanced um, and in some cases undersupplied and that there's some really great properties that are going to suit them and their family or their financial situation and that you've still got to be able to buy a property and move on with life regardless of what interest rates are doing because they're always going to go up or down and you probably can't control that. And for the seller, we had to report back throughout a campaign of what the buyers are thinking, what those interest levels are and how many parties there are so that eventually when they get to the point of selling they can feel very comfortable that the agent still found the best buyer and still found that best buyer's best price regardless of what the property might have sold for at some distant time in the past. And again, like interest rates, property values are going to fluctuate and change. But right here, right now, the agent's job is to bridge that gap between buyer and seller, and the great agents are still putting together a lot of deals at the moment. And not having fire sales, they're just bridging the gap nicely and allowing buyers to buy and sellers to move on with their plan. So that's my hot tip to you at the moment. If you're looking for an agent, do a little bit of research on how many gaps they're bridging, how many properties are selling in this market. Because the agent that hasn't got that skill set to be that in between is probably going to be carrying a lot of unsold stock and probably can't take on more deals until they've sold the ones they've got. Have a great week. See you next week.